Oh shawty, it's your birthday. Crap. Anything else, please let us know so we can help you from here. Today, we are leaving Sicily. I'm Cheska, this is Ben, and this is our little hitchhiker river. We all live full time in our self converted Sprinter van Sophia, travelling Europe and beyond in our tiny home on wheels. Freedom, adventure, and a life on the road. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. A famous Arabian geographer once said On the sixth day, God accomplished his work and pleased with all the beauty he had created, he took the earth in his hands and kissed it. There, where he put his lips, that's Sicily. Go shawty, it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Do you want a birthday macaron? Oh yes please. Glass, yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. How does it feel to be a year older? It feels no different than yesterday. Ah, River. River's trying to dig River you to is, China. Literally, she started over here. My seat was here, and then she started here. And she dug so much that my seat fell in the hole. <laughs> it gave way, so I've had to move. So yes, it is Ben's birthday today. We are chilling out by the sea. We drove down to the south coast of Sicily yesterday and found the most picturesque, picturesque park up, literally right on the sea, and it is just a heaven here. We have had the best day today, just chilling, just taking it so easy. This place is literally a dream. Like, we're here on our own. Like this hasn't happened in such a long time and it's just in, like perfect timing for Ben's birthday. He's just been down at the beach with the river. So he's coming back. It's getting a little bit breezy out there oh, now, isn't it? It's a little bit now, isn't it? Now the sun's gone down for the day. But we are in prime sunset position here. Just look at that. Straight in front. Ah, this way, river this way, this way. For a nice romantic birthday, birthday stroll. Birthday stroll, yeah. In the sunset. Two favourite girls. And you two. <laughs> Sun's going down, it's what half four, quarters of five, it's about to get dark. Time to get the rum out. Oh yeah, we have some rum and maybe watch a film. It's gonna be a nice evening. Well, I've had a fantastic birthday. Thank you to everyone who has sent birthday messages on Instagram. Thank you very much. Chess, thank you very much for a lovely day. Cheers. So all evening there's been um, this little boy on his scooter literally just going up and down the road next to us just singing along to his heart's content. We keep hearing like this, like in the background, like, what is that? And there's this little kid on a scooter. And um, I was just taking like a photo with the tripod of like the cool pampas grass. And he drove past Hey, hey. And he was going to like cut in front of it and he just was like, and carried on singing as he went past. It was so cute. Well, this place just keeps getting better and better. It's another gorgeous day, not a cloud in the sky. And Cheska and River are down in our own little personal lagoon. The only thing is, getting down is a bit of a problem. Okay, so look, over there, as you can see, there's no one on the beach. Starts to get to her belly, she's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You're not going. 
Ah. So we do need to leave today. We need to go and get some food. River needs food. But I think the plan is just to keep driving along the south coast and see what we can find. Because um, it's just very quiet everywhere at the minute and yeah, hopefully Peaceful. we can find somewhere like this which will be amazing. Come on then, in. Turn this out because she is covered in sand. Good girl. Look at her be able to jump up like that yeah, now. I don't need to carry up anymore. All good things come to an end. And we are now off to go get some food and then just see where the day takes us. We've made it to these beautiful um, white rock formations called Capo Bianco. Um, and this spot is stunning, but the only problem is there's not really anywhere to let river off lead and that's kind of like One of our necessities now for park ups it needs to be somewhere that she can go off the lead, but this spot is just breathtaking But there are walks down to the beach from here. So I think we should at least stay here a little bit <laughs> God the sun is hot Hot today. I really think we should stay here. I'm trying to convince Ben that we should. Yeah, well, yeah, it's fine. I, I don't mind staying here. Okay, so we just found a little bit of water tripping out of the van, which is never a good sign. It's just running from here and it just pulled, I don't know if you can see, there's a little patch down here of pulled water and it was running, yeah, he's dripping from there and we're a little bit worried that something's up with the fridge we've just taken this panel of coir mat off and it's definitely coming from behind there so yeah, it's not entirely sure. let's empty the fridge out empty the fridge out and I need to oh. pretty dry behind there mm. I hadn't realised the river's water bowl got knocked over I don't understand um, though why it would go. Well, all... because it, it's it's on the line. So under here, it's on the lino. It's on this top bit here, the lino. Right. It's kind of dropping down onto there, which is I can see that I can see it here. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the fridge is okay. The fridge is okay. Who knocked it over? Did you knock it over? Mm -hmm. Did you knock it over? No, I didn't. Who knocked it over? <laughs> river, no, river, did. this way, please. Okay, so it's a false alarm, isn't it? Yeah, at least I know the fridge isn't broken, which is always good news. However, I might want to repack the bloody thing. What we didn't realise was that this was to be our last evening in Sicily. I always think you never know that you're in the good old days until they're gone, but at least we made the most of our last Sicilian sunset. We hiked to a quiet beach that felt like something from Castaway and played with River until the sun went down. This beach feels like something from like Castaway or something. It's got a very like deserted island feeling to it. River's chilling out, isn't she? Yeah, finally. That dog does not have an off switch. Uh, the negative wire on the 12 volt fuse for the lights has come out and I haven't got my crimp up with me. Crap. Well, that's a pain in the ass. Oh, man, can I get away with this? Might, might be able to get away with these snippers. What has happened? The fridge one came out. And the snippers don't work. And the snippers just cut in. They're too sharp, they're, they're metal snippers, so they just cut straight through the connectors. So now we've potentially... No, no. we're not potentially, we've got no fridge So now we've, got, now we've got no fridge and no lights. Can you grab my phone a second? Yeah. I thought... Yep, yeah, they're working. I always have full faith in you, babe. I was just assume you'll be able to get us out of it. <laughs> the 
the fridge and the lights are back working. Oh, well right. done. So I use my handy little pincers. Yeah. So, two things I learned from this. One, make sure next time I pack my, crimp in, my crimpers. And two, don't put a 12 volt system connecting under your bed. Find a place up top, it's easier to work with. You don't have to take everything out. Hello, River. Hello. Hello, lovely. What are you doing? Hey? Hey? Okay, so good morning from a very chilly White Cliffs of Sicily. Today, we are leaving Sicily and it's been a bit of a, I say last minute decision, it's something we've been thinking about, especially the past few days, especially. Um, but last night we booked our ticket and we will explain more in due course. But it's with heavy hearts we leave. We're up early, it's about seven o'clock and we're gonna make a beeline for the ferry port in Messina, which is about a three and a half hour drive away. What a beautiful place to spend our last night in Sicily. Okay, cool. So, when we got off here, we we're gonna drive for three and a bit hours now to get out of the Calabria, of Calabria into Campania. Campania. Cool. So, what is going on? What has happened in the past couple of days? We have left Sicily now. Do you want yep. to explain why we've left Sicily? So, we always planned on going back to the UK in December for Christmas. A, to see family and spend time there for Christmas because we haven't spent time with family over Christmas for three years. Yeah. This will be the yeah, so we wanted to go back. But we also have a very exciting big project that we are doing next year, um, which... We're we, actually starting it in December. We're actually starting it in December. Um, we've done a lot of prep work behind the scenes. We won't go into too much detail now. All will be revealed we're over the next month or so we've still got a few say, final touches to to put to a few plans and things but yeah so we've got some exciting or an exciting project for next year yeah. if you want to try and guess what it is though feel free just put it down here somewhere so as we wanted to go back in december anyway we didn't really want to get stuck in a lockdown that made it really difficult to travel out and um a few of you messaged and said why don't you just stay in italy and sicily and if there's a lockdown there's a lockdown and i think in any other situation we would do that but because we do want to get back home in december we just figure we'll leave before it gets too difficult to do so what prompted us to leave sicily so quickly was that there was a recent announcement by the government that they weren't going into a national lockdown but certain regions were going to be classed as red zones and travel into and out of those regions was going to be banned and they were going to under lockdown and one of those regions was an area called Calabria which is the ferry port into and out of Sicily so we figured well if we get you know yeah, even though yeah. Sicily wasn't a red zone we wouldn't be able to get into Calabria and then out of Italy very easily so we thought we'll just leave Sicily and then get through Calabria while it was still possible to do so so as soon as we got back onto mainland uh, that evening we found out they were actually going to put additional restrictions in on Sicily uh, and restrict you from moving between different areas. So it just happened to be it was yeah the, the right time for us to leave. We... Yeah, you just know when it's the right time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've been driving north ever since. Italy is big. <laughs> And it yeah. takes a long time to get north but we have made it to the north of Italy now and we are in a little town on the Italian Riviera called San Lorenzo and we have arranged for River to have a vet appointment to have a tapeworm treatment so we're just tying up some little loose ends before we head back to the UK yeah so River, yeah, River's vet appointment in France on yes. Monday so we'll leave here Monday afternoon go to the vets and then we make a beeline 
to Calais. Yeah. I just wanted to say as well a big thank you to Sarah and Luca from Leave Everything and Wonder. So many of you were like commenting on our videos and saying, are you going to meet up with Sarah and Luca? They're also in Sicily. And the answer is yes, we did meet up with them, but it was only for a short period of time, like as our paths crossed. Mm. Um, they were heading to Palermo, we were heading south, and it happened to be a day that we weren't filming, so we didn't actually capture any of it on camera. But we did meet up with them, and they it's are lovely such to meet them, wasn't it? Yeah. awesome people, and exactly as they appear on camera, like they're just such lovely people. And throughout this whole like uncertainty, they have just been there for us. They've been voice noting us, sending us articles. They've been just keeping us up to date with what's going on because there's very few English like English articles about the Italian lockdown in detail. Um, so it was really hard to find out information as yeah. to what to do and what the rules were. And they've just been there for us, like every step of the way, making sure that we were okay and said like, if you need anything, just, you know, give us a call and let us know. So I just wanted to say a big, big thank you to them because it really did just make the whole process of leaving Sicily just it a just, little bit more yeah. stress free and just easier. And we knew what was happening and that was invaluable. Yeah, so, so thank, thank you guys. guys. Oh, that was a good time, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank um, you. We are going to leave the video here for this week. Oh yeah, that's another thing oh, I just want to yeah. say as well. Um, you noticed we weren't here on Wednesday. Yeah, we didn't upload on Wednesday and, and we're going to be going back to Sunday uploads. Now that the kind of travel around Italy has stopped, I think mm. it's going to be much, you know, it makes sense to just go back to our weekly videos. So we're going to go back to every Sunday. So please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It has been an amazing end to our time in Sicily and we've absolutely loved it here and would come back and recommend it in a heartbeat. 100%, yeah. Um, but yeah, please feel free to subscribe if you're new here and if you want to have any like real time updates and stuff, you can follow us on Instagram and we shall see you next week. Yeah, bye. bye. Ah, that was sharp. Oh, <laughs> you mother. Oh.